It's so complex to even make a video before of uh, Pesach. What's going on with you guys? Are you are you breathing? Are you able to to deal with your obligations? It's so crazy, huh? Like life can be so weird. And especially when you choose to be ridiculously religious and like what in the world the creator of the universe wants from us right it's a, it's a question in those days it's a it's a deep question so for sure that if something kills your happiness and destroys your will to live so you're going in the wrong path so that's not the right way because we're supposed to live the Torah been given to us for every person to live while he keeps the Torah, while he is being observant. So there is no way in the world that people should suffer so badly and to be so concerned and worried and, and to freak out for the honor of the Creator. It's not an option. We must rethink about the way we grasp the holy days, the way that we understand the obligation, the Torah, the mitzvot, because there is no way in the world that the loving Father of Mercy will kill all of his children before the Chag, before the holiday. It's not his will and it's not supposed to be our uh, will or understanding as well. There is no way in the world that a person should break his fingers, should break his mind, should break his heart, to be enemies of each other, to blame each other or not accomplishing or not achieving. If it's too hard, it means that there is something that you misinterpret, that there is something that you don't quite grasp. So, I suggest for you first of all to breathe and to remember that we all must rest and that we must relax and that you should breathe again. You have so many halachot and so many rules and so many things and I'm not going to come now to tell you you should take it easier, you should be more mekel, lighter and uh, and not to take to take the the radical side. I, like I I don't want to get myself involved into those um halachic uh, Jewish rules. I don't want to get into that. I must just remind you that in the eve of Pesach, a few hours before the holy day starts, so we are all cancelling all the chametz that is in our possession, I think that's how you say it, all the chametz that we own, we're cancelling and it's a decree by the righteous people of all the generations that they decreed on that that even if you have a certain chametz that you forgot, that you don't know about, it's being cancelled. And those righteous ones that received from the Creator the permission to teach the Torah to us, to the next generations, they received the power to decree those kind of decrees. And for that, we must follow their wisdom and it's true today in our generation as the number of rabbis that are teaching and and guiding that's equal to that is the number of opinions and methods of how you should prepare yourself to Pesach and how much you need to do and I suggest for every individual to remember that before of all you are a children a child of the creator and you should learn how to reconnect yourself to him with love and in a relaxed way and it's true we are obligated to do things and we need to clean the house for pesach and we need to throw away all the chametz that we have and we need to prepare ourselves for the holy day but if we lose our happiness if we lose our joy so we made a horrible mistake it's like we went 100% in the opposite direction, 180 degrees to the other side. And I think that every person, no matter which halachic method, shita, 
is um, following and trying to function based on a certain um, minhag custom of a certain community or 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 a certain rabbi that he's following in that place under those rules try to find some time for yourself try to to find some time to breathe try to find some time for your soul to find an inner connection to the Creator from the place that you are at. Dust is not chametz, and also all kinds of um, of stains and uh, and things that you can find in the drawers are not chametz that you need to get rid of. And if you're willing and you're happy to clean your house for Pesach, so it's a great thing. But we cannot kill ourselves and hate ourselves and blame ourselves in, if we're not able to, to accomplish all the things that someone told us that we must. The main prohibition in Pesach is not to have chametz. We're not supposed to have chametz. And if a person is not able to get rid of all of his chametz, so he is allowed in a certain way there is a certain form that a person should fill and you can find that mechirat chametz, selling the chametz form online very easily a form that you should fill and by that you're selling your chametz for Pesach and then the chametz does not consider yours in Pesach so if you can throw away all the chametz from your house, it's great. And if you're not able to do that, so you can sell the chametz and you just need to put all your chametz in one shelf or in one closet or in one room or in a certain place that... Hey Israel, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're eating a cookie. It's chametz. Show us your cookie. Show us your chametz. Oy vey, what are we gonna do? <laughs> He's eating cookies! <laughs> ah, crazy life! So, relax, breathe. You should not have chametz in the house in Pesach. Great. And if you're not able to take it all out, so you need to close it in one place. And in that place, you should know that you put all your chametz together and you sell the chametz. Like I said, it's a form that you need to fill. So, don't lose your mind because of that. This is something that a person is able to do. Now, you should try to get rid of all the chametz, like we said. But again, don't freak out. Why? Because in Chatzot Hayom, in half of the day of the eve of Pesach, of Passover, we are cancelling all the chametz that we own. Means that it's a decree. Even if you're not going to do it, even if you didn't went and burned your chametz, even if you didn't have chametz to burn, even if you forgot a certain cookie, even if your Israel Natan was hiding cookies in his uh, closet, in the pocket of his vest, I don't know what, and you found yourself that you didn't get rid of a certain chametz accidentally, so half of the day of the eve of the holy day is cancelling the chametz by, by itself. It's a decree. It's something that happens and it's accepted and it's a known thing. So relax. And let's say that now it's the middle of the holy day like it happened to us once when we lived in Jerusalem. We cleaned the house. We did whatever we could, we broke our fingers, we did everything possibly can be done to clean the house for Pesach. And in the middle of the day, in one of the days of the holiday, we found a hidden cookie in the, in the house, in the children's room. So what do you do with it? You throw it away and that's it. You want to burn it? You go and you burn it. That's it. <laughs> And relax, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. Nothing happened. Li read my lips. Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. Relax. 
It's just craziness. Nothing happened. You throw away the chametz, and you breathe, and you say to Hashem, Oh, thank you, Hashem. Please help me to move on in my life. Nothing happened. Like, I did the best I could. I washed the, the curtains. I, I vacuum cleaned the sofas. I, I burned my, uh, my, my husband. I, I killed my wife. I did everything. <laughs> I did everything I could. What else can a person do? I killed all my children. I destroyed my wife. I burned the house. Like, what else can you expect from a person to do for the holiday? That's it. <laughs> enough is enough. And now I found the cookie, so that's it. Don't eat it. It's not allowed to eat cookies in Pesach. You remember that halakha. You remember that rule. And except of that, everything is okay. Just throw it away. Like, not to your neighbors, though. Everything is perfect. Just be happy and relax. <laughs> and don't be critical. And don't kill yourself. And don't lose your mind. There's no reason to kill your... To kill your mind, to destroy your soul. Everything is good. The mitzvot and the obligations and the rules, all of them been given to us for us to live according to, to follow them and to find our happiness, not to kill ourselves, not to destroy ourselves. Oh, but I didn't do this, I didn't do that. Nothing happened. The Creator is not a psychotic rabbi. The Creator is not a psychotic ruler. The Creator is a loving source of kindness, godly, holy, loving parent. And He wants you to grow. And He wants you to enjoy. And He also wants you to clean your spirit. And He also wants you to cleanse yourself in, in certain preparations and take it in a positive way. Just relax and breathe. And take a deep breath and take a shower and sit and learn a little bit and pray and put music and do everything by the right way. And relax because the mitzvot been given to us for us to live according to, to follow them. And that's it. And if you don't do it, so you're just going to miss the holy day. You're going to miss the holiness of those days. And it's a pity. Because it's a wonderful holiday and those are amazing days to enjoy with the family, to enjoy with your partner, to enjoy with your children. And if you're married to, uh, to some jerk that doesn't understand it, so try to send him a link of this class and tell him, I love you, don't be a jerk, let's be friends, let's hold hands before the holiday, let's be happy, let's stop fight, let's talk. Connection is communication and try not to be the jerk that uh, destroy the life of your partner right don't only only blame him blame her try to take responsibility on yourself fix yourself be positive be happy be nice to each other don't be fool to 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 destroy your own life and to destroy your own happiness take it easy and breathe and breathe again and breathe again and watch another video that is positive and cheering you up and put your playlist again with nice music and with with holy atmosphere enter into those holy days of Passover of Pesach and try to remind yourself of the holiness of those days and the redemption that took place in those days in a different time and to remember how it can be done for us as well right now and wonders and miracles can take place in our lives and like the Derez Sea been opened for Am Israel, it can be open for us as well and so like that wonders took place and our enemies fell and been destroyed our spiritual enemies and all the enemies that are fighting against the good can be destroyed as well today and only the holy ones and the pure ones the ones that their soul is aimed to heaven and to the good can be also redeemed and happy and we all must reconnect ourselves to the righteous 
leader of our generation and if you don't have a clue who it is so at least connect yourself to someone that you feel comfortable with someone that you feel that is encouraging you and give you strength and power and and happiness and breathe okay and about this uh, halakha that concerns thousands of people if you should um, put um, um, how you say chumtza? Chumtza. How you say chumtza? Uh, uh, all those toxic materials like uh, soap and stuff, but uh, um, no, all those, all those horrible. Um, Hor horrible materials. No, guys, help me with 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 my broken English. Be good friends. The the halacha that many people are concerned about. If you should put this um, this soap, this spicy, horrible soap that you put to clean the oven to destroy acid. acid. Thank you, acid. Thank you, acid. If you should put it between the tiles of the floor, and if you should brush the 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 um, those uh, cracks, the the spaces between the tiles with with a toothbrush with with acid, so the answer is no. <laughs> so the answer is no. <laughs> you should not do that because you're not eating from those cracks. You're not eating from those cracks, and therefore you don't need to be worried if there is flavor of chametz in those cracks or not, all right? I, I hope you get it. <laughs> See you soon. Hashem will bless us all to be normal, to be sane, and not to freak out and lose our minds. And enjoy the holiday, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> no acid in the house and no crack. <laughs> Please subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com.